Hey, what's up everyone? John of The Geek here and today I'm going to be talking about the Ouya Developers Kit. And so what this is, is an Android-based gaming platform and it's a Kickstarter project uh, that was highly talked about, got a lot of money for. And this specific device was given to developers, people who backed the Kickstarter project, uh, so that they can design and develop games specifically for this device to test on and make sure that their games work uh, well on this particular device and so it's an Android base uh, running Android 4.1 Jelly Bean I believe uh, but it has a customized highly customized overlay of their own software and so I'll uh, just go over what uh, the internals are what are some of the specs and uh, what this looks like um, so basically what you have here is a outer shell that's made of plastic and uh, they're saying that uh, the production model is supposed to be made out of uh, brushed aluminum, but uh, for you know to keep the cost down and to, just for development purposes, and they're not sure if uh, this was going to be exactly how it's going to look. Um, they just went with uh, making this out of plastic at first, all right. And so uh, let's take a look at the outside. What we have here, we got the uh, Ouya Dev kind of logo uh, embroidered thing here. It's frosted plastic. And so all around is pretty much the same, except on the back here we have our ports. We have a uh, power connector port up on the top there, Ethernet port, a micro USB port, HDMI and uh, USB 2.0 port. And then on the rest of the sides, pretty much blank. On the top here though, uh, this is where you would uh, take apart or take out the uh, chip that's inside of there. And uh, on the top we have a... Uh, power button here and so we got the four screws here some ventilation holes uh, up at the top here and uh, that's pretty much it and at the bottom we have a little rubber feet uh, for padding and stuff like that on there and uh, it's about the size of a coffee cup very small in size and I think it's going to debut at maybe like a hundred dollars I'm not sure um, through many retail outlets on there and so that is the uh, console itself and what we have here it comes with two controllers and so this is also plastic here I'm not sure what the uh, production model is going to end up being uh, but it uh, kind of lends itself to the very similar design as the Xbox controllers with the two analog sticks here d-pad and the uh, four buttons in this uh, diamond shape configuration here uh, most not notably though the front here this little green patch is an actual touch screen not a screen, I'm sorry, a touchpad uh, that controls a uh, mouse cursor in the uh, Ouya software, right? And uh, I don't think it's multi-touch or gesture controls or anything like that. Uh, it's just to control a little mouse cursor. And so on the front here, we also have a power button right down there. That's where you would turn it on. And then uh, there's four LED lights here, and that uh, is for indicating what uh, controller, what player you are. And I read on the online some of the documentation that uh, you could control or connect up to four controllers even though this thing comes with only two. And so up on the top here we have our shoulder buttons, left and right shoulder buttons, as well as some trigger buttons here. All right. And uh, so the batteries are located in the uh, controllers itself, in the handles of the controllers. And you can actually remove this very easily. Right to change the batteries out, and uh, I'm pretty sure that they're going to make a uh, make it so that you can customize or buy personalized kind of different color um, cases here to you know just make your controller all that much cooler and more hip and more to your liking, right? And so that's the uh, controller there, and uh, the same on the other one, but uh, this one came with a uh, kind of a little a little messed up here, a little quality control issues that we got going on there, but I'm um, probably not even really going to use that. Anyways, and uh, what else comes in the box in case you are interested is a uh, power adapter. This is the power adapter here. Um, comes with a um, universal type of deal here for the US plug, right? So that's a power adapter. And we also have a, an HDMI cable. Comes with a short three foot HDMI cable here, right? It's a standard affair, regular old HDMI cable. And then we also have a uh, micro USB USB cable here, right? So that you can connect directly to your computer. And when you connect it, you see it come up as a thumb drive. Very much like if you were connecting your phone 
Again, this is running Android OS. Uh, pretty much all the internals on here are very similar to what you would find um, on a smartphone, pretty much, right? Well, minus the big old fan there. And so uh, what I'm gonna actually do now is uh, take a look on the inside. We're gonna crack this sucker open and uh, take a look at the, the chip and the board and uh, what, uh, what little bits and pieces of what makes this thing tick, right? So uh, check this out. And in case some of you are wondering, this is a standard T8 size Torx screw, nothing fancy, anything like that. So let's go ahead and open this up. So the lid comes off of there, and then this pretty much just pulls straight out, like so. And there you have it, there's the inside. It looks like there's a little bit of weight inside, make it a little heavier, because it's so small, so thin, so light would be easy to just get knocked off of the table there so that's why I guess they put some weights on the bottom there All right and here we have it got the uh, there's the on off button there little LED light when you turn it on glows blue again we have the uh, connectors here a tiny little fan covering the uh, CPU right and so uh, some of the specs on this this is running a uh, Nvidia Tegra 3 processor quad core processor with one gig of RAM and it has eight gigs of internal flash storage with uh, expandable uh, memory using either the um, micro USB port here or the USB port you could uh, plug in a thumb drive and use external memory on there accessing files or storing apps and everything like that uh, 1080p is able to process 1080p video with 5.1 surround sound coming out of the uh, HDMI port there it has a Wi-Fi 802.11b, G, and N, as well as an Ethernet port. It doesn't really say if it's a gigabit Ethernet, but honestly, I don't, I don't really see why you would need such fast Ethernet speeds. 10100 should be fine, just in, as uh, enough. And uh, it has uh, Bluetooth on it. it doesn't say uh, really what specific version of Bluetooth, but it has Bluetooth to connect to the uh, controller here. And I don't think uh, the controller can turn on the system uh, because the system has to be on and the Bluetooth has to be on in order for it to uh, pick up um, the controller. So I don't think the controller can turn it on. And uh, the wireless Bluetooth controller with standard game controls and touchpad. That's the uh, that's what's on the controller there. And so uh, that's pretty much it for uh, the hardware side of things. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the video on the uh, software demo that I'll be doing uh, shortly. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.